Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor website design course video series. In the previous video, I have shown you how you can customize the single blog post template. We created a template for the single blog post. This was the template that we created in the previous video. Now in this video, we are going to create a blog page and we are going to customize the template for the blog page. All the blog posts will be shown on the blog page. This template will be used to show the category archive also. So let's go to the dashboard of the website, go to pages and create a new page. Click on add new page, name it as blog. If you want, you can also name it as news. If you want to publish news articles, you can also name it as news. Do not make any other changes. Click on publish. Let's go back to dashboard. Now we need to mark this blog page as the post archive page. So let's go to settings and go to reading. While creating the home page of the website, we assigned this page as the home page of the website. Now just below that you will see the post page, which is nothing but the blog page where all the blog posts will be shown. Click on the drop down box and select the blog page that we created. Select it and click on save changes. Right now, let's go to pages again. We have the blog page here. You will see it is marked as post page. Click on view. Let's see how does this look. This is the current layout of the blog page and it does not really look good. So we are going to customize it. Right. So let's go back to the dashboard. Go to templates and go to theme builder. In the left hand panel, you will see the option archive. Click on it and click on add new. So this is going to be the template for the blog post. You will see some pre-designed templates for the archive. If you want to use any one of these templates, you can definitely use these templates. You will need to connect your website with the Elementor account. And after that, you can use these pre-designed templates to create a template for your blog page. I'm going to create template from the scratch. So let's close this one. At the top, I want to show the title of the archive. So I'm going to click on plus sign and select a new section here. Just like what we did for the single post template. At the top, we have this banner section and on the banner, we have this title. All right, so we're going to create the similar template here. If you want to, you can simply copy this one and use it here. But we are going to do it again. So click on this section. Let's add some padding to the top and to the bottom. Let's go to style settings, go to background, select an image. Let's select another image here. Position will be center center. Attachment will be fixed. Repeat will be no repeat and display size will be cover. Let's add background overlay. This time we are going to use black overlay color. Let's increase the opacity and click on the plus sign. You will see the option here archive title. So for creating archive template, you can use these three elements. Select the archive title, drag it and drop it here. Let's go to style settings and change the color to white. Central align it. Currently it is not showing any archive title. Click on it, go to advanced. And let's add a fallback title that will be, let's say, blog. So if there is nothing, it will show a blog as the title. You are going to create different categories for the blog post and each category will be using the same template. Let's say you are creating category of news articles. So if someone clicks on that category, it will use the same template to show all the blog posts from that particular category. This is the fallback title. If nothing is there in the title, then it will use blog as a title. You can also add before and after this archive. All right. So leave it as it is for now. Click on the plus sign again and let's add a new section just below this banner. Let's add some padding at the top and at the bottom. Now, in this section, we want to add all the blog posts which are in that particular category or the blog. So click on the plus sign again and you will see this option here archive post drag it and drop it here so it is going to show the post in that particular category or in that particular archive okay so it is going to use three columns again the settings will remain same you will see in the left hand panel we have the layout select cards whichever layout you like you can 
use the layout. This is the full content that does not look good. This is a classic. Uh, this is cards. I like to use cards. So I'm going to use cards. This is the column. You can change the number of columns. Let's use four columns and you will see four column layout is there. You want to show image. Yes, I want to show image. Then we have image resolution. I'm going to increase the resolution. And this is the image ratio. You can change the ratio of the image. This is nothing but the featured image that we published while creating the blog post. Let's change the excerpt length to let's say 50. Then we have metadata. It will be here. We are going to customize it later. A read more is there and the avatar is also there. Pagination. This is the pagination. Alignment will be at the center. Right now on this website, we have only four blog posts. So it's not going to show the pagination at the bottom. But if you have more blog posts, some posts will be shown on the first page. And after that, there will be a pagination to go to the next page. Then we have advanced, nothing found message. It seems we can't find what you are looking for. So if there is nothing in that particular category, this is the message that will be shown. Let's go to layout and you will see four columns are there. Let's go to style. You will see the column gap. Let's make it 20 pixel. A rose gap will be, let's say 30 pixel. Alignment will be center to the left or to the right. Card, you will see the card background color. Again, you can change the background color. This is the border color. Let's use one pixel border like this. You can also use the border radius like this. Horizontal padding, vertical padding, box, shadow we have the box shadow already there let's go to image these are the image settings then we have content for the content we are going to change the color for the title then if you want to change the typography for the title you can change it from here click on the pencil icon and change the size font family and font weight color for the meta this is the meta so let's change the color for the meta to blue and typography again i'm going to change the typography this one this one looks good so this is the date and the number of comments let's go back to content and if you do not want this comment i you can simply cross it out if you want any other metadata you can select from here let's select time and it will show the time when the post was published all right let's go back to style settings let's go to cards Okay, these are the card settings. Let's go to content. We have already customized the content. This is the read more text. Pagination, these are the style settings for the pagination. These are the customization settings for nothing found message. So what it is going to do, it is going to use this template to show all the posts on your website. So let's click on publish. Click on add condition. Click on the drop down and you will see different options here. If you want to use this template only to show post archive then you can select post archive if you want you can also create another template to show the category archive in this case i'm going to use this template for all the archives whether it's category or the main blog page click on save and close now let's go back to the dashboard go to pages we have blog page here let's click on view and here you will see the new template is applied and this is how all the blog posts will be shown on the blog page. Let's click on this blog post. And this is the template for the single blog post. Now let's say I want to add a contact form on the single post template so that customer will be able to contact the site admin using the contact form. So in the next video, we are going to create a contact form using Elementor and we are going to use that contact form as a template and the same contact form will be used all over the website. We are going to add that contact form in the template itself. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.